How do we get across? messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system locked up thank you for information. We appear to be close. I'm glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. Company! Coming back. Backtrack. Observers coming up at us!
Armor hydraulics compensating. We're two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way. dozen observers flying around a waterfall like a flock of birds. It's amazing. This really is their habitat. We'll be out of their way soon. Uh, not too soon, right? You wouldn't believe the data I'm getting. for jump jets. Now, 
That is cool. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really... really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good, too. Should we go? Baby, get back to the entrance now! I saw it! What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out! Vince! It would be wise to escape, Ryder. I know, Sam! Too far to jump! Got another bridge? is attempting service reconnection. Come on! Vault restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! We have to be more careful. That field almost disintegrated us. But it didn't. You want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated? 
Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere, or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. Even without the storms, it'll be a struggle for a while. But we can tough it out. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. <sighs> Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pin... and needles rider pods are inbound and ready let's go make it happen detecting above normal radiation levels
support restored. Radiation levels increasing. Radiation within safe levels. Systems are failing, Pathfinder. I liked those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drak? Me. <laughs> you can really handle yourself, kid. 
But I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. It is karma. Notice that? This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or...